Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today, we're going to be discussing the four main types of NoSQL databases. Let's get started. First of all, we have the key value databases. Key value databases use a simple key value method to store data. Key value databases store data as a collection of key value pairs, where the key serves as the unique identifier. Both the keys and values can be anything from simple data types like numbers, also called integers, and words, also called strings, to complex data types like lists and hash maps. Key value databases are also very good at horizontal scaling, which other databases cannot achieve. Next, we have the document databases. Document databases are designed to store and query data like JSON documents. If you don't know what JSON is, it stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and is a lightweight format for storing and transporting data across web pages. Document databases make it easier to store and query data by using the same data storing and querying models from the actual application. And because document databases are flexible and created in a categorical fashion, it can easily evolve with the application's needs. Then we have the white column or columnar databases. White column databases use tables, columns, and rows, but unlike RDBMS, each column is stored as a separate object or database and are kept separate from each other as well. This is why data types used inside this table and the formatting used inside each column can vary from row to row, even though they are technically part of the same table. The reason white column databases are so popular is because they are very easy to manage, since each column is stored separately. It is also because white column databases are truly scalable, meaning that you can scale each column in a different way, and it won't affect any of the other columns. Finally, we have graph databases. Graph databases store data in the form of relationships, meaning that data only has access to its nearest relations. Most, if not all of the actual data in these graph databases are derived from these relationships. Each point in a graph database is called a node and nodes have edges to store data. Edges always have a start node, end node, type, direction, and an edge that can describe the parent-child relationships, actions, ownership, and more between the data. You can define rules for data in a graph database, which states which edge types it is allowed to cross or give it permission to navigate the whole database. I hope this video helped you understand the four major types of NoSQL databases available. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.